How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss how to subtract integers. So, before anything else, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool, clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners, we have already discussed how to add integers. Now, we are dealing with the next operation in integers and that is subtraction. The question is, how do we subtract integers? In subtracting integers, what you will do is you need to have a strong foundation in adding integers. So, let's have a quick review in adding integers. Let's consider that positive numbers are happy face and negative numbers are sad face. So, if you have a positive number added by a positive number, then your answer is a bigger positive number. Easy, right? Now, that context is the same if you have a negative value plus a negative value, then you will have a bigger negative value. Now, the question is, what if we have different signs? So, a happy or a positive value plus a bigger negative value, you will have an answer that is a smaller negative value. Meaning, if the bigger number is a negative value, then your final answer is a negative value. However, it will be reduced because the values of your addends will be subtracted with each other. Same goes if you have a small negative value plus a bigger positive value, then your answer is a small positive value. So, the context is very simple about adding integers. Okay? So, now, let us go how to subtract integers. Now, math learners, in subtracting integers, there are a lot of scenarios when one student takes it very easy and other things or other scenarios takes it very difficult. Now, the question is, how do we become proficient, effective, and very competent in subtracting integers? Now, let's consider some examples. 10 minus 6 is very simple, right? Because what we will do is you just subtract them, the answer is 4. For most of the students, this is a simple problem, right? Now, how about we have 6 minus 10? For other students, they can answer this as negative 4. That's correct. But for some students, it will be a little confusing. Now, let's consider some different signs. 10 minus negative 6. For other students, they are already confused of this kind of problem. The answer for this one is positive 16. Now, let's consider some examples. What if we have negative 10 minus 6? The problem here is that a lot of students are confused of this kind of scenario, right? But actually, the answer for this one is negative 16. Now, the question is, Sir Ash, how did you get that answer very easily? Now, this is the technique that I will be teaching you. Because, remember this one, addition is opposite to subtraction. And subtraction is opposite to addition. In the context of subtracting integers, what you will do is you get the opposite of that. You get the opposite of the operation and then you solve them through addition. The question is, how? I will teach you. Okay, now let us consider first the parts of subtraction. This is known as the minuend. This is the operation minus. This is the subtrahend. And this is the difference. So what you see here is the minuend. What you see here is the subtrahend, and this is the difference, the answer. While this is the operation minus. Correct? So now, this is how we subtract integers without failing. Okay, be attentive on this part. So what you will do is very simple. We know that M is the minuend, minus is the sign, the operation, this is the subtrahend, and the difference. In solving subtraction, B equal to every scenario okay again be equal to any scenario so that 
you will have a constant focus on solving these kind of problems. How? What you will do is leave the minuet as is and then the minus, you change it to addition which is the opposite of subtraction. Then your subtrahend, you change it to its opposite and that will be your final answer. Okay? So, again, the minuet, do not change it, just leave it. The minus will become plus and then your subtrahend will change. So, in a conclusion, the process in subtracting integers is change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. Okay, so now let's try to apply this one. That is 10 minus 6, right? We know that this is 4. However, if you consider this, this kind of process, we leave 10 as is, the minus will become plus, and then this will become negative 6. Now, this is an example of addition in which the bigger value is positive while the smaller value is negative. So, remember, in different signs, in terms of adding, we will copy the bigger sign, so that is positive, and then we will subtract the values. So, 10 minus 6, that is 4, and that is our final answer. Now, for sure, you are wondering, this is very simple, Sir Ash. So, why do we need to change like this? Actually, you don't need to. But for the sake of being um, equal or being fair or parallel to your operations in solving subtraction, then use this kind of method. Why? Because if we are here, we have 6 minus 10. Okay? That gives us 6. Do not change the minuet. Then the minus will become plus. This positive 10 will become negative 10. So we have here bigger negative they are unlike sign so we copy the negative then we subtract the values 10 and 6 and that is negative 4 which is just the same as this one okay now let's consider this one 10 minus negative 6 if we have this kind of problem what we will do is we change the minus to plus we change the subtrahend into positive 6 and that gives us positive 16 which is just the same clear and finally if we have negative 10 minus 6, then what we will do is we copy the minuet and then change the minus into plus and change positive 6 into negative 6, giving us a final answer of negative plus negative, that is negative 16. And they are just the same. Okay? So I hope you get the idea of how to subtract integers. Now, this is the time that I will be giving you this try these exercises for you to test whether you have got our simple trick in subtracting integers. So, here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have enjoyed our very short but meaningful discussion for today. This is still your free access math teacher ash and always remember it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning thank you for your support do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell and thank you for sharing god bless and always be safe good day